Hello, Dinky Doo, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. It's Saturday night in the United Kingdom, and it's about quarter to seven in the evening, so a lot of you will be getting ready to go out. Before you did so, though, I wondered if I might just have a few minutes of your time just to have a quick chat about what sort of media you like. Now, some of you might be going out to watch films. Some of you might be staying in watching your telly. Some of you might be listening to the wireless, to the radio. But I will almost guarantee that the bulk of you will actually be at your computers, at your devices, at your tablets and your telephones. And you'll be working on social media, because that's where it's at nowadays. And this is where Scotty McClue comes in. This is where I come in big time. As you know, I do a Sunday night program live here on Facebook Live. Now, this is where television is at. Think about it. When did you last put on your television and find a live person talking to you, apart from perhaps a news program? Right? And many of these will be recorded. They'll say, this report from, and you think, oh, I saw this at lunchtime. Oh, I saw this first thing in the morning. So that's where our media is at. It's moving very, very fast, folks. Now, when people say to me, the world has changed, I'm rather skeptical of that, I think. What's changed? Let's look at radio, for instance, a chair and a microphone. And you can manage without the chair if you're adaptable. So, from that point of view, consuming our media has changed. How do we consume it? Do we like to listen again? You'll notice that on our live broadcast, we get a good old number of viewers, and then that goes up steadily as the week goes on. So, you can end up with just a handful of people watching, but thousands and thousands and many thousands watching you over the course of a week or over the course of a month. So... What are we going to be doing about our media? Now, I feel that we need a free, independent media. When I say free, it means you're not paying at point of contact. And I would like to set this up. I'm also looking at, in addition to our Sunday night broadcasts, perhaps evening broadcasts, because there's a lot of people who could do with input from another human being at some point. There's a lot of loneliness about, dare I say. It's not the most exciting subject to talk about, but it's very real for a lot of people, and it exists. So, from that point of view, and one of the reasons I think it exists is because we no longer have our big radio programs at night with live people talking to live people, people to people. We don't hear so much of that. And also, as you know, I've been famous over the last 25 years for bringing you late night phone -ins. Some of them rather outrageous. That's why we listen. Let's not kid ourselves. And, um, of course, also when it's a genuine case, when somebody is in need, I will talk to them. We will talk to them. We will then discuss it. That's what makes these rather fantastic programs. And you don't see that now because in the days of monetary greed, people say, well, is it going to pay us the maximum amount of money? Tra la 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 la. We've heard it all before. Now, one of the reasons for me coming up tonight is that this is a Go Fund Me special. Now, don't start turning off or running away and going, oh, is it money is after? Oh, oh. Yes, all that kind of hollow laughing and nonsense. It's very, very important. If you're going to choose what kind of media you would like, and you'd like me to provide it, then we do need to get the equipment in. Now, what I've done is I've set up a GoFundMe page for £500,000. There's £320 in it right now. To everybody who has donated, I am very, very, very grateful. Also, if you prefer it, you can go to PayPal and you can pop something in via that. But we need to actually do it. So I'd be very grateful if every single one of you would go and get your card and put perhaps £2, £1, £5, £10, £50, £100, whatever you think you are comfortable with spending. Ask yourself the question, say, I've watched Scotty McClue for 25 years. Has he made me smile? Do I approve of him? 
That's the thing. So there we are. If you do, folks, give me the thumbs up. Send me out lots of hearts. So there you are. Uh, we've got lots of you watching. I'm not going to run through the names because I'm going to talk to you fast. Person to person. That's what it's all about. When did you last talk to a human being when you ring up the utilities companies? If you're wanting to pay your gas or your electricity or your telephone, how often do you just get a recorded voice? Somebody who couldn't actually give to, whether it's you or whether it's not. It's lovely to talk to a human being. In the supermarket, you've got the self-service counters. I like to go through the till, right? Now, whether this helps the retailer or not, I'm not bothered about that. I'm paying enough for my shopping, and therefore I would like to speak to a human being, please. Somebody who says, how's your day going? As they're going, bloop, 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 with the week's shopping. Or in Scotland, we call them... The messages, there you are, the messages. We run a wee message, out with Scotland you may go on an errand. So there you are. So that's what we're talking about there. So this is a GoFundMe special. And rather than run away and say, oh, is it money is after, I would rather that you stayed. And I would rather that you shared this video with as many people as possible. I would rather that you right-clicked on the link and sent it round as many groups as possible on Facebook, because this is Facebook Live. Now, we are global right now. We are worldwide. And on Sunday night, we had people listening in Australia, America, Canada, Russia, China, Japan. They were all listening to Scotty McClue broadcasting live at 10 o'clock sharp British summer time on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. That's what was happening. So this is definitely where it's at. Look at some of your television channels, folks. Look at the nonsense that you're subjected to. Stuff that you're not interested in. And then... On comes a big, big, long commercial break, almost as long as the program. And you think, oh, dear, oh, dear, I can't watch this. And that's why it's time for us getting together. Interactive media, media for the people, stuff that you can interact with, as you're doing with me right now, right this second, you're interacting with Scotty McClue. And it's Saturday night. People have got important things to do, and yet they can spare a minute or two to watch me live globally on Facebook Live. That is absolutely excellent. And remember, there will be billions who have not actually realized that we're on right now. That's where you come in. That's where you, the viewer, or the show sharer, or the person who interacts with the program, that's where you come in. That is fantastic. Now, I would like if you can help me out with this funding thing. I'm sorry to bang on about it, but I do need funding. Now, one of the things I've had up my sleeve, and I'm willing to share with you, because it's only the world that's listening, and I know I can trust you all to keep Stoom at the right moments. Scotland was hoping to have a six o'clock Scottish news when the national UK news usually comes on. The British Broadcasting Corporation, in their wisdom, with their great knowledge, have decided they're not prepared to provide that. Instead, they're providing a channel with a £30 million budget. Now, bear in mind, the radio budget for Radio Scotland for the BBC is, I think, around £24-25 million the last time I checked. So, you're not going to get much television for uh, £30 million. But, when it comes to me, it's a different ball game because I compare my costs back to the bone. I've had 40 years' experience in entertainment, so I'm hardly going to let you down. Television, radio, working for national television companies, working for national radio companies, working for local radio companies, saving local radio from disappearing, very often bringing huge, huge audiences and vast, vast amounts of money to the proprietors of radio and television stations. And I've done that. So now what I'd quite like to do is serve you. How can I best do that? That's why I'm asking you to go fund me. So I was looking for five million pounds. Perhaps that's unrealistic on a first go. So what I'm looking for now is 500,000 
pounds. I have three hundred and twenty pounds. You will see it on the old totalizer there.